Hello, everybody. So, I'm here on Entertainment Earth website. <coughs> Sorry. Looking at G.I. Joe Super 7 Ultimates, as you can see. Um, so, the reason I'm making this video is I'm really on the fence with these figures now. So, I got into the... Um, well, I'll say I got a little bit into the uh, G.I. Joe Super 7 reaction figures. I made a video about those uh, quite a while ago now. I think they're really awesome. And I wanted to check out the Super 7 Ultimates. Um, and like I tend to do, I might have gone a little bit overboard. <laughs> so I pre-ordered Cobra Commander, uh, Storm Shadow, Duke, Baroness. I uh, was really looking forward to Doc. Pre-ordered him. Pre-ordered Destro. Skip the bats. Skip these characters. Uh, Scarlet. I pre-ordered a Snake Eyes, and I pre-ordered a couple of these Troopers. So when I first pre-ordered these, though, it was a while ago. It was before summer. And honestly, I don't remember. I've had these on pre-order for quite a while. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Duke. Uh, he's a little cut off here, but regardless, Duke, he was originally scheduled along with Cobra Commander and Snake Eyes for June or July or something like that. And as you can see, he's now slated for November. So I wasn't really worried about it. <clears throat> uh, in fact, when it got bumped out, I was like, you know what? These guys are kind of expensive and I'd rather not pay for this right now anyway. So I was fine with it. However, since June or July or whenever they were supposed to release, and now... I feel like I'm kind of starting to lose interest and I feel like I'm on the fence about canceling some or all of these. So my reason for considering possibly canceling is that um, one, they're expensive. Two, uh, they're not all going to come at once, but all together, they're 55 bucks a piece. And what did I order? Like three, four, five, six like 10 of these things so it was that 550 bucks which you know even though it's not all going to come out at once that's a good chunk of change and then the other um piece here that has me a little bit on the fence is i've seen numerous um reports <laughs> i don't know how you want to say it of other Super 7 Ultimates just not quite really uh, meeting expectations. Now, I did see a video, and I'm sorry, but I can't remember. Let me see if I can just move this over here. Yeah. I did see a video where somebody reviewed this bat, and it looked so cool. Um, but is it cool enough? For 55 bucks especially if I'm going to buy multiple so I didn't pre-order this bat but I did pre-order 10 other figures and I was really um, what really got me was these troopers honestly I think these just looked awesome like look at this guy and you can switch out their heads and make it look like different guys they come with so many cool things. But I understand that the articulation's not all that. They are 55 bucks. And here's the other thing. I'm, I'm all in on the G.I. Joe Classifieds. And I know I have a rack of those on pre-order as well. So I guess my question is, and this is something I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments. Is it worth it? Is it worth it to spend 55 bucks a pop on these guys when I'm not sure of the quality? And um, 
I do know that I like the G.I. Joe Classifieds. They're top notch, in my opinion. So, I really like the way these guys look. Uh, but, here's the deal. This isn't even a real... This isn't even a real image. Like, this is a um, digital render. And I've seen messed up versions of Thundercats. Um, I just, I'm just feeling like really on the fence. Now, it looks like I have a little bit of time here with this November date. That said, it's always a crapshoot when these things, when these action figures or whatever actually hit. I don't know how many times I've had something that was slated for whatever month down the road and then the next thing I know well here it comes it's processed and they're sending it so yeah help me out guys <laughs> what do you think are these things worth it or not I am really on the fence now I kind of feel like I would really love these troopers I really think that this snake eyes looks awesome I love the um old Sunbow uh, design for Snake Eyes. And I have the uh, Super 7 Reaction version and I just thought it would be super awesome to have like a big old 7 inch version. And I'm sure a lot of you are in the same boat with the pre-orders as I am where I see something I like and then I just go hog wild and I'm just racking up the pre-orders. I think in total right now between these figures, um, classifieds, and I still have a few uh, Star Wars The Black Series things out there. I'm looking at, I don't even know at this point, 40 some odd things on <laughs> the pre-order list. And I'm at that stage right now, and I went through the same thing last year, uh, actually. I got to around fall and just um, canceled a whole shit ton of pre-orders. And I kind of feel like maybe that's how I'm feeling right now. Now, if they would have delivered in June or July or whatever it was supposed to be, you know, they would have got my money, I would have got these figures, and then I would know whether I liked them or not or whether they were worth it or not or whatever. And it would either be I spent $160 or whatever the hell, hell it would be, and I love it and I'm happy and I'm in for more. Or I would have spent a hundred and whatever dollars and been like, yeah, these aren't worth it. Screw it. I'm canceling the rest of them. But because they didn't come through, they might not be getting any of my money. Because I'm excited about uh, the uh, classified stuff that I have coming down the pipe. Even though it always feels like a waiting game with this. But it is what it is. Um, and I don't know if I'm excited for these anymore. And here's the other thing. With all the classified stuff I'm planning on getting, and all the stuff that I already have, you know, I don't have unlimited space here. You know, I don't have a mansion. I'm not Bill Gates or <laughs> some shit. So, the shelf that I was going to put these on, I'm already looking at it as a good shelf for more classifieds. So... I don't know, this is just a short video, I just had this on my mind and I thought I would throw it out there and I was also really curious of what you all thought as collectors, you know. I'm sure if you're watching this channel, you collect classifieds as that's what most of my videos have been about over the past number of months. Um, so what do you think? What do you think about these Super 7 Ultimates? I mean, I think they look cool as shit, man, but they're 55 bucks. And I've seen some whack ass <laughs> paint jobs on these things uh, in other people's videos. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, this is just a short one. I think I'm going to cut it here. Uh, maybe I'll give an update on this, whether or not I cancel these or not. Here's another one, man. This Storm Shatter looks awesome. But is he going to look awesome if he shows up with googly eyes? <laughs> and he's barely articulate. He barely, nah, can't spit it out, but he has barely any articulation, right? So, I don't know. I would love some feedback on this. Um, I guess I'm uh, tossing, tossing this out to the community 
<laughs> help me out here. All right, everybody. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time.